All right, Raider Nation, what's up? This is your boy, LV. Today is game day. Back again with another video. But yesterday, I gave my prediction against the Broncos. It's in a video, it's another video. I'm gonna try to put the link in the uh, description down below. I'm gonna try, but most likely I won't. I won't put it, but if I don't put it, my mistake. But, well, a lot of you all might not know that the Cleveland Browns are talking about releasing Josh Gordon. And this is not a clickbait video. That's why it has the question mark. I'm just going to give my opinion about the whole situation. And should the Raiders go after him? And what if the Raiders do go after him? What he can bring to this offense? And I'm going to just give, throw all my opinions out there. I'm just going to just throw some stuff out there. So... The Cleveland Browns may release Josh Gordon Monday. The reason why Josh Gordon is being released is because he what, was late or he was late to the facility, something like that. And so the Cleveland Browns wanted to trade him, not trade him, release him, or they may trade him. We don't, we don't know, but most likely they're going to release him. We know Josh Gordon has some issues with substance abuse and abuse and the substance abuse policy with the NFL. He had drug issues. We understand that. That's the man past. He at least trying to change his life. So we don't have don't try to bash him. Bash him about their personal life. Because this man is good on the football field. He is good on the football field. We have to go after him before another AFC opponent go after him. I believe that the Raiders, the Raiders go after him. The Raiders have to go after him if they want to compete in the AFC. If you let somebody like a New England or a New England or a what's an AFC that's good or Kansas City or Denver go get this man, you might have trouble. You might have a little bit of trouble. But if the Oakland Raiders go after him early. And get him to agree to a deal or make him feel comfortable in this organization, we can do a lot of damage. Cause this will actually open up the offense even more. Because that brings Mateus Bryant, Jared Cook, Josh Gordon, Cooper, Nelson, and Houghton. This brings a lot of size, speed, and playmaking. Now Dirk Carr can actually really do some play action fakes and shoot the ball down the field, gunsling the ball down the field, use his arm. If you go get somebody like a Josh Gordon, so that means you can set Amari Cooper out. Jordan Nelson can be set out, and you can bring in Houghton, Cooper. Mm, I, said, I mean Houghton, Bryant, Cook, and um, Gordon. Gordon, hold on, yeah, let me sure I got it right. Gordon, 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 Houghton, Cook, Bryant. Yeah, I'm correct. You can bring sides. You can bring sides to the offense on any play. These people know how to get open. These guys know how to get open. But Josh Gordon, he can bring more talent to the Raiders. He is a playmaker. He big, tall, fast, strong. Like, what you seen Monday night from Jerry Cook, Josh Gordon can bring that same energy at receiver. Josh Gordon bring that same energy. You can actually throw jump balls to this man, even if he's double double covered. And that's what we need. Somebody a receiver that can go that can go get that jump ball and double coverage. So also, uh, Martavis, Martavis Bryant can do the same thing. But we need that speed person that can sprint down the field and go get the ball at any um, point. So, this will be very interesting if the Oakland Raiders go after Josh Gordon. And I'm going to just give my opinion. Like, I think we should. We should go after Josh Gordon. Cause we don't want anyone else in the AFC, AFC to go get this man. Like, like he can bring a lot to the Raiders, and he can bring a lot to John Gruden play callings. That's just 
being real. He can bring out a lot. He can actually. We can like target him on third downs, fourth down, first downs. We can go after him. You could throw him on the left side, put Brian on the right side. Now you can spread this offense. You can spread the offense and open up this. You can open up the offense and spread the defense and get these one-on-one -on -one matchups because you still gonna have a dangerous wide out here, a dangerous wide out there, a dangerous tight end here, a dangerous uh, running back behind car. Everything is going to be dangerous and aggressive. You know John Gruden like to be aggressive. So if you bring Gordon, you will bring that aggressiveness to this offense. It will become more aggressive because our offensive line is already strong and bullish. Carr will get the protection. It's just what Carr do with the ball. And you will be able to get more open looks. You can get guys open. John Gruden had to call up plays to get guys open. It's just all about if Carr can get the ball there. And if you bring that extra size, height, speed, and aggressiveness to this offense, Carr, he going to grow. He going to improve. He not going to lack or de his talent going to decrease. His talent going to increase. Because he got Greg Olsen grooming him. You cannot allow one game to define somebody. But I'm just throwing it out there. We should go after Gordon. Because Gordon will bring out the best in Derek Carr. While Gruden is making play calls. Gruden can bring out the best in Gordon. Gruden can bring out the best in Bryant. Gruden can bring out the best in uh bring out the best in on Carr. He Gruden can bring out the best in this whole offense. Actually the whole team. So if the Raiders gave Bryant a chance, what well, do you think they won't give Gordon a chance? Come on now. Think now. The Raiders gave Bryant a chance. But remember, he were brought back. Bryant and Gordon had the same issues. So what made you think Gruden ain't going to take a shot with Gordon? Give that man a chance. Watch what I tell you. The Raiders going to go after Gordon. The Raiders going to have Gordon in that facility to sign a contract. Guaranteed this week. The Raiders going after Gordon. I, I hope they do. That's smart. That's what will be a smart move. Go after Gordon. Open up the offense. John Gruden loved offense. John Gruden loved putting up points. That's what he tried to do against the rounds. Put up points. But Derek Carr just didn't get the ball there. If if them three interceptions would have been touchdowns, let's let, 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 let say that. So that's 18 plus that's 18 plus 13 when he started throwing interceptions. No, no. Yeah, yeah. 18 plus 13 when he started throwing interceptions. So that's 1, huh, 19, 11, 1. 32. Huh. Oh, 31. I'm tripping. 31 points. That's 31 points that could have been scored. That's 31 points that could have been scored. I'm just throwing it out there. That's 31 points that could have been scored if all those touchdowns. And I didn't add the field goals. That's your point, ain't got. So this could have been, what, 33 points? No, oh, 34 points. 34 points. That could have been 34. To ten, if Derek Carr did not throw interceptions, cause he, we was going out the field to score. All the interceptions Derek Carr threw, they would have been, they could have been touchdowns. They could have been touchdowns. So that's crazy. So that's all I'm gonna say. I'm done. I'm off. Peace. Time for football. It's some of the game on now. I think it's time for being the Eagles. But all right, I'm off. Peace. Y'all be blessed with the nation. So y'all drop y'all opinions down in the comment section. Should the Oakland Raiders go after Josh Gordon? I just want y'all opinion.